I don't like making videos in this sort of format where I have to use my webcam in order to rant. Um, because it takes, like, a long time to render if I'm editing. So, um, the only way that, you know, it doesn't take a very long time to render is if either A, it's really, really goddamn short, or B, I'm not editing it at all. And right now, it's the latter. This is just a straight-up rant. You know, um, this has been a controversial debate going on. You know, sort of a divide between the um, anti-social justice warriors community or anti-feminist community, whatever you want to call it. And it's all about um, Sargon the Cod's petition. In case you guys do not know... Uh, Saga of Akkad is one of the biggest anti-feminist slash anti-social justice warrior I know on the internet. And possibly um, the closest thing to perfection since Miley Yiannopoulos. <laughs> but anyway, um, he made a petition about um, these towards these universities who are teaching social justice warriors ideology. I mean, excuse me, the ideology of social justice, you know, heavy quotation of social justice. And the petition states, I'll read from my phone. Social justice has become scientifically illiterate, logically unsound, deeply bigoted, and openly supremacist. Social justice professors are indoctrinating young people into pseudo scientific cult behind closed doors that is doing damn that is doing damage to their health, education, and future. Social justice have become a victim of its own good intention and in the desperate attempts to make the world a better, you know, the world better for some it is creating a world better for none. It has become another ideology fit only to pave the road to hell. So it's time to turn around and choose another path that is concerned with reason, science, and improving the lives of every human. To clarify, we're calling for the teaching of social justice courses in university to be temporarily suspended. What follow up is a, is up for debate. But as it stands now, social justice is causing far more harm than good and must be halted and reassessed. For more vision, visit Sargon of Akkad 100. Attorney, read the comments on this petition. And, you know... Today, if you're reading this right now, it has received about 57,000 signatures. 57,000. That's, you know, fucking amazing. You know, this is Sargon of Cards, so... <laughs> Bravo. Now, where do I stand in this? Well, I'm sort of on, so, you know, Sargon of Cards side. And... This is the reason why um, social justice warriors have been poisoning pretty much everything that a lot of people hold dear. Like, our universities are turned into jokes. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos for quite some time, for about a good one or two months, you would know that some of the universities that I talked about on how... These universities, uh, some of them have, um, um, you know, banned raising their hand and shaking their head in disagreement. You know, somehow that triggers someone. You know, there's another one that uh, basically, um, if you uh, say a certain word that might trigger a, a student around a campus, then... You get fined. Um, there was, yeah, the video that I sh showed you guys not too long ago. And, uh, yeah, these, these universities are turning into fucking massive jokes. Creating, quote-unquote, safe spaces. Since when did our universities, you know, from a place where students can learn finally get a goddamn career if not a pretty good fucking job to a goddamn daycare center where if your feelings get hurt there's a special little room where you can you know you know have a
coloring book and look at a, a goddamn TV screen full of puppies and shit. And there's cookies and milk. You know, something that little children would, you know, enjoy. Since when did this fucking happen? There's been a massive debate on whether or not Song of the Cod is um, censoring these social justice warriors. And, you know, this is what I believe in. You know, uh, when it comes to religion, a lot of people would tend to agree that we should keep religion out of school unless this school we're talking about is um, based off religion, Catholic schools. Um, they should just keep their beliefs to themselves, their own personal beliefs, unless it's based in his. You know, if it's involving history class, like you know, um, involving the the um, life and death of Jesus Christ, then yes, I. That's the exception in history, but you know, in beliefs, in in a belief way, no. No, no, no. We, we should keep religion away from some people. I mean, the students. The same should be said about social justice or feminism. We need to keep away, you know, people's personal beliefs away from other people. I mean, other students. Because we go to school to learn on, you know how to perform mathematics, um, like, genography, genography, fuck it, I'm just, you know, flabbergasted right now, <clears throat> you know, it pisses me off that every time I talk about these universities, it fucking pisses me off, because it's ridiculous. But you guys get the point. You know, we go to school to learn, you know, to educate ourselves. Not to, you know, indoctrinate people into believing, you know, turning them into mindless fucking servants. Now, I also believe that if people want to start a little club that's based off their own beliefs and, you know, they can do their little circle jerk... And that's fine. And, you know, I have no problem if, you know, there's a little club in the university that talks about social justice. I'm totally fine with that. The same thing goes for religion. Now, there is one issue with Saga's petition, and that is, it's not just aiming it shouldn't just aim for just universities but schools in general because keep in mind that we have you know feminists going to, you know after students as young as seven years old you know in second grade talking about uh you know um diversity and feminism you know there's even a school that actually you know one of the homework um you know, they, they sent in, in, in a um, homework sheet, you know, talking about privilege. And, you know, this girl, this little girl, basically doesn't even understand what privilege is. Doesn't understand some of the words. You know, and, and the, the parents are outraged. Because, you know, you know, these schools are now being, you know, they're now forcing students to accept an ideology that's, there. It, that's, it's absolutely horrid. We need to make sure that feminism and social justice, you know, stay away from universities as far as possible, unless it's just, you know, creating their own little book club. You know, if, you know, if that's what they want. And, you know, and anyone can join. <sighs> But it's it's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. You know, we, we should target not just universities, but schools in general. 
So, you know, that way we can, we don't have people press, pressuring their own beliefs on other people, on other students, you know, indoctrinating them, brainwashing them. Because it's easy to, you know, manipulate little children into believing what they believe in. They're going to grow up to be terrible people one day. And that is something that I want to prevent. <sighs> so, that's the only issue I have with Sargon's petition. That's all I have to say. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.